Hi all, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be playing a game called Crossout. Uh, please bear in mind that everything within the game is um, still in closed beta so it's subject to change and requirements. The question I normally get asked is how to do uh, build items within the chassis or chassis and a radio build. So today I'm going to have a quick look at how to do uh, build a, a a, effectively a scrap metal slash fuel uh, collector vehicle so you need a big chassis or a 4x4 go to a 2x4 um, chassis and then you go one two same the other side three four and then rotate them 90 degrees and plug them down onto the bottom they will go on why doesn't I want to go on there it's being a mare there we go, I had it then. One on there, and one on there. And what that effectively does is create this gap in the middle here. So in the middle here, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is pick up the cab. And all we're going to do is just throw it on the edge out there because it provides power to the chassis. So we're going to go into hardware. And I'm going to pick up my fuel barrel. Uh, and as I said in other videos, the fuel barrel needs to be hidden deep within the vehicle. You're not going to get any more deep within the vehicle than actually within the chassis itself. Next, I'm going to buy a radio and slot the radio in. And finally, um, a car jack. And just put a car jack in there, like so. So we now have the fuel barrel, radio, and the car jack in the vehicle. And we're going to put the vehicle back on the cab. And you'll see that our central centralize the vehicle on the cab and I know it actually looks quite short but trust me it will turn out quite nicely next we're going to put a radio right level two uh, and three radios that side and I'm going to rotate round and I'm going to put three radios one two three radios that side next I'm going to go back to the parts and find the fender and what I want to do is line up my fender so it's all compact, nice and tidy at the front. And then I'm going to connect them together like so. To copy the parts to save yourself going back into the um, compartment is hover over it, press CTRL and you'll see at the top the copy object flashing. Just press left click on that and it will uh, copy the part as it is. Next we're going to put some wheels on and because this thing steers like an absolute dog and it's a, a farming vehicle of parts uh, we want as many white parts as we can get on um, so we're going to put on the medium steering wheels as you can see it's starting to look a little bit like a vehicle now uh, the next white part I'm going to put on will be a weapons radiator and you'll see why in a moment and I'm going to put that in the middle at the back here because it allows for additional radios down the side here and here and across the back if you want to do so um, now we're going to close the vehicle up with some quarter walls um, entirely up to you how, how you close it off uh, so I'm going to do one, oh hello, one, two, rotate it back round again and flip it back round, three, four as such, and I, you can actually copy these again if you so wish, rotate them round, I mean it, it honestly doesn't matter how you how you close your vehicle at the back, um, it's entirely up to you. For weapons, what I'm going to use is light machine guns, and I'm going to put two, one there, and one there. And you'll see that it, it literally crosses three weld points. And then one you can either put in the middle or on top of your vehicle. It's entirely up to you. And for cosmetic sake at the front, if you want to, you can get some avia slopes, for instance. Uh, how do I want to do that? I can have one there and then I can rotate it back round to there just to make it look you know cosmetically pleasing put a bit of a small plow on the front to stop people ramming you and all those good things in life and that is as effectively as, as crude as a vehicle as as you want you can then uh, 
uh, for instance, paint the vehicle, instead of spraying all the parts together, you can press O and it will paint all your parts. And this here now is a, a fuel slash scrap farming vehicle that is nice, tiny, it's compact. We can take it out for a test drive. And as it stands at the moment, for every one uh, item of durability, so the radio that has a white item, it's got a durability, um, you're going to get about two scrap, give or take, for a win or, uh, and a loss. So work on about 1.5 scrap per um, win or lose, and you're not going to be far off. So with all your blue four, your, your, your bl sorry, your white wheels, your radio items, plus underneath your uh, car jack, weapons radiator, and all those uh, other good things, you're actually going to make quite a bit of scrap on this, plus a reasonable chance of getting fuel, and with three machine guns, they're all white parts, they're easily replaceable, um, and if you need to replace any of the parts, for instance, that have gone, the radios here you can literally just strip one uh, excuse me you can just click on the radio take the radio out put your new one in uh, if any of your parts go on your main vehicle underneath you can take the gun off the top and the, and the cab itself just replace those items in the middle there the whole idea and the principle is the vehicle is really easy to maintain it shouldn't be arduous and and it should be nice, quick and simple, in and out of battles, make yourself some scrap and some potential, some fuel, and some nice parts. Uh, I hope you found this video useful, and I will see you in the next video. Take care until then.